Now in this part then, we've got to solve 2 sine 2 theta all over 1 plus cos 2 theta equals 1. For theta, greater than or equal to minus 180 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Now, there's obviously got to be some relationship between the first part of the question. And if you look carefully, you'll see that we've got 2 multiplied by the identity that we had to prove in part A. So we can see that this is going to be 2 multiplied by tan of theta because we were able to show that sine 2 theta over 1 plus cos 2 theta was identical to tan theta. So it's got to be 2 tan theta equals 1 then. And next all we need to do is divide both sides by 2 so we therefore have tan theta equals a half. And when it comes now to working out what theta is, we obviously take the inverse tan to both sides, so we get theta equals the inverse tan of one half. Now when I get something like this, I would normally want to draw a quadrant diagram so that I can figure out what and where the solutions are going to be. That would be my naught degrees. We know that tan is positive, so tan is positive in the first quadrant, remember they're all positive in the first quadrant, and tan is positive in the third quadrant. So in the usual way I'd want to draw a line in the first quadrant, mark that angle in there and draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line here and mark that angle in there. So we need theta going between minus 180 to 180 so the first solution would be this one to the blue line so that would be a possible theta. Normally if it was 0 to 360 degrees I would turn from the 0 all the way around to here but because it's got to be between minus 180 and 180 the other solution would start from 0 but go in this direction in a clockwise direction in the negative sense, okay? So this will also be a possible value of theta. If you're unsure of this, just go on my website, have a look at uh, tutorials under the quadrant diagram, okay? Now, if you use your calculator here, make sure it's in degrees mode, just in case you were doing some earlier questions in radians or something like that, okay? so just inverse tan a half and what you should find that you get is theta equals 26.565 and so on and that would be degrees. So this 26.5 odd degrees has got to be this angle in here okay it'll be this theta that will correspond to that blue angle in there so that blue angle okay we just come out here is 26.5 say 5 odd degrees and that means that this one in here is the same size 26.5 odd degrees so to get the green angle I've just got to do 180 minus the 26.5 and if you do 180 minus 26.5 you're going to find that you get 153.434 and so on but what you've got to remember is that we're turning in the negative sense, so this will be a negative angle. Now we need to give our answers to one decimal place, that's what we're told, so therefore theta would equal 20 point, sorry, 26.6 degrees and minus 153.4 degrees. And I'd write that as both of them are, both are, to 1 dp. Alright? Okay, well that brings us now to the end of that question.